this more clearly that we can be like him. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 says, the Holy Spirit shows us the glory of Jesus in his word. The mirror is the word. Then we, he changes us into that likeness. I cannot be like him unless I see him clearly. And even though um, the story of Jesus is in the four gospels, so many Christians have read the four gospels, even if they haven't read the rest of the New Testament. I think most believers have read the four gospels. But you can read the four gospels and not see Jesus. You can see the historical Jesus, which the world also knows about. There was a man called Jesus who did miracles, was crucified, rose again. Okay, that's just a story. But to see Jesus spiritually, that's very, very important. That's what will challenge us to be like him. So how can that take place? So I want to show you a passage in John chapter 12. In John chapter 12. This is the answer that Jesus himself gave. <clears throat> How people can see him. See John 12 and verse 20. You know the Jews had virtually rejected Jesus. They hated him, the Pharisees, they wanted to kill him. But there were people from another country, Greece. We read in verse 20, there were certain Greeks who were probably proselyte Jews who came up to worship at the feast. They were converted in Greece and became Jews. And they came to Philip, verse 21, and said, we want to see Jesus. Isn't that your desire? We want to see Jesus. So Philip came and along with Andrew and told Jesus, there are some people from Greece who want to see you. Now most preachers would be very excited if some foreigner wants to see them. But not Jesus. He was not bothered by that. You can come from any part of the world. And he told them how they could see him. And that's what we need to learn. He says, unless, verse 24, a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies. It remains by itself alone. Now this is the answer to we want to see Jesus. But if it dies, it will bear much fruit. He who loves his life in this earth will lose it. But he who hates his life in this earth will keep it to life eternal. So if anyone serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there will my servant also be. If any man serves me, the Father will honor him. So this is the way to see Jesus. Jesus had a way of giving abstract answers to a very straightforward question. What he was saying is, the important thing is not to see my physical face. To see my physical face, everybody sees it. Even the Pharisees see it and so many people see it. But to really see me, you must be willing to fall into the ground and die like a grain of wheat. That means you must be willing to lose that earthly attractiveness that you have and this life that you have in this earth. Like the, you know, a grain of wheat has got an outer shell and when it goes into the ground, it cracks open. And when it cracks open, the life inside that grain comes up through the earth and produces a hundred grains of wheat. That is the principle of all farming. One grain of wheat falls into the ground and it cracks open and the life inside comes out. Now, if you don't let it go into the ground and fall into the ground and die, you take that grain of wheat and it's a beautiful grain of wheat and put it in a glass case in a cupboard, it'll be a grain of wheat even after a hundred years. But if you allow it to fall into the ground and die, in a hundred years, it will be a million grains of wheat. This is the secret of fruitfulness. This is the secret of seeing Jesus. In other words, there must be a, a brokenness. 